Thanks, Alex. Congratulations on being a team captain. I know that came out last night. Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably saw Coach Hans post. Uh, he always talks about it's the greatest honor um, to be voted as a team captain by your teammates. Uh, and him and I sat down after captains were selected last season. And uh, he told me, he goes, this is one of my goals. Uh, he goes, this needs to be one of your goals next year. Um, so everything I've done leading up to this point, uh, being announced as a team captain, uh, has been surrounded by that goal. Marcellus, obviously Gus has talked about this being one of the more difficult fall camps he's going to put you guys through because of what happened last year. What have you seen from him and, and, and from some of the coaching staff when it comes to what you expect to see over the next three or four weeks? Uh, I can tell they got uh, pressure on them for sure. Uh, and it's just like uh, you guys talked about with uh, Gus having the chip on his shoulder. He told us last night he's got a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't like the way the season ended last year, uh, just like none of us on the team do. Um, so just you can just tell they're going about it a little bit differently, um, holding everyone to a higher standard, um, just pushing everyone to be the best that they can be. Um, so it's just been, it's been good so far. Uh, day one went well. Uh, we'll see how it keeps unfolding moving forward. Marcel, is, it feels like each of the three years Gus has been here, there's been some sort of an offensive line rebuild. You obviously are going into another season. You've been part of an offensive line rebuild that he's had to make, and there's elements of that again in this coming season. From your perspective, how hard or not is it to make that happen, and what, kind of, what are kind of the keys to making that happen? Uh, I mean, there's definitely some challenges to it for sure, just because uh, that – as offensive line, you got to have that cohesiveness. You got to uh, be on the same page as the guys around you. Uh, but Coach Han does a great job getting us prepared. Um, he does a great job bringing in talented guys to step up and do the job. Um, I had the opportunity to join the line last year and work with those guys. And it was an amazing opportunity. Uh, and now I got the opportunity to lead some of the guys coming in behind us. So it's, uh, there's definitely challenges, like I said, but it all comes with time, just being together and uh, making it work. What are you most confident about in this offensive line? Uh, I mean, we got kids who are willing to um, do their job. Uh, that's the biggest part. Do your job. Put your hat on your hat and um, get where you're supposed to be. Uh, these guys are tough. Um, we got a solid unit up front. Uh, guys who are willing to get nasty when it's time to do that. Um, love running the ball. Uh, it's going to be a great season for us up front. What aren't you sure about? Uh, honestly, I'm pretty confident where we're at. The biggest thing right now is just making sure that uh, we're all on the same page uh, with it being day one, just making sure communication, uh, installation, all that stuff is um, being done properly uh, so we can succeed when it comes time. It seems like there's a, a different tone from Gus this year. It could be wrong. Seems like he's ticked off. Uh, how have you seen uh, a different mindset or different attitude from him, and how does that affect him? Uh, I think it, it goes back to that conversation about him talking about his chip on his shoulder. Um, he talked about he's always had that chip on his shoulder since he started. Um, and he, you can just tell that he's carrying himself a little bit differently. Uh, he knows what it takes to win the championship. He's done it before. Uh, and I think he's bringing that same energy uh, in order to go do it again this year. Do you like seeing that? Yeah, I love it. Uh, I'm one of those guys. I like being pushed. Uh, I like. Uh, I think he's trying to bring out the best in everybody in the room. Uh, and that if that happens, uh, we're going to be very good. Obviously, as a captain and a leader in the offensive line room, you've played a lot of different positions. How do you think that helps you lift up the younger guys, like you said? Uh, I think it gives me the ability to just uh, know the O-line play inside and out. Uh, I've even had the opportunity to kind of see big picture kind of what's going on just because I've had the opportunity to play so many different spots. Um, but it just gives me the ability to sit down with the guy. Uh, he's asking a question about this position, like I've been in his shoes, I know where he's at. Uh, I can see what he's talking about uh, just in order to help him grow. In the open portions, there was different rotation on the right side of the line. You'd see like Jabari play right guard and then Paul play right tackle and you'd move over kind of both of those spots. So what's the competition like on the right side of the line and how does it directly affect where you're going to play? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, Coach Hand brings guys in who are going to compete. Um, so we got a good group of guys uh, and everyone in the room can play. So. At the end of the day, we're going to go through camp. And uh, like I said, I trust in Coach Hand. I feel like I know he's going to put the best five guys on the field. So whatever that looks like, I'll play where he needs me to play. Uh, and we'll go from there. Marissa, is this your last year of eligibility, or you still have one more after this? Uh, I believe I have one more. You have one more? OK, so I'm not sure. maybe it doesn't make a difference, though. Just how important is this season to you? Obviously, second year in this program, big season ahead. You know, you had a great season last year, and you want to build off that. What do you want to accomplish this year? Uh, the biggest thing is to win. Um, we always talk. We talk about winning championships. That's what we're here to do. Um, and at the end of the day, we win a championship, and everything else comes with that. Uh, I just want to be able to lead this team and help um, the guys around me succeed. And like I said, if we win, then 
everything else will take care of itself. Kind of, kind of building on, on that point, last year was this program's first in the Big 12. I know it's a little bit of a different conference this year, but what was the biggest lesson from everyone returning about what, what you guys learned from that first, first year last year? You've got to be willing to go win big games when it counts. Uh, we struggled a little bit at uh, finishing out, closing out games. Um, so that's one of the biggest things on a lot of our minds is just developing that edge that when you get in a situation like that, um, you have the ability to go win the game. Obviously, UCF is going to be one of the more dominant rushing teams this year as they have been the past couple of years, especially with more talent added. And aren't you getting better? How is it to just like block those guys and be able to block for those guys and, and lead the way for them? Uh, they definitely uh, make our job a little bit easier up front. Uh, we have one of the, I would say, probably the most talented running back room in the country. Uh, just a solid group of guys who are willing to uh, put their foot in the ground, get vertical, uh, go get the yards that we need. Um, at the end of the day, though, it comes down to us putting our hats on our hats up front uh, and giving them the opportunity to do what they do best. Marcel, I it was, uh, you know, first day, you know, not a whole lot happens, no scrimmage yet, but what was the highlight? Who had the, who had a good day out there? Did anyone stand out? Any individual play that maybe uh, you remember? I'm not going to lie. Every time I was out there, my head was in somebody else across from me, so I'm not really <laughs> sure exactly uh, what was going on. I know he uh, broke a couple of big runs and stuff like that, so... Um, I think overall we had a solid first day. Like you said, it's day one. Uh, there's definitely some growing that we got to do, but um, I'm not worried about where we're at right now. I'm excited. I want to ask about one of your other captains, KJ. How has he commanded the huddle and kind of earned, earned that respect since walking in? Oh uh, Yeah, he's done a great job. Uh, he's still uh, doing a uh, great job leading, uh, and I think he's one of those guys who really leads by example as well. Uh, that's kind of where I see myself as well. So uh, a lot of times it's not necessarily, hey, like, um, he does a great job, again, commanding us up front and getting the offense set. Uh, and then also just being able to look back at him and be like, oh, wait, I know he's going to do his job. How is, how is the strength program different? You know, first summer under Coach Kinsey, uh, how, was, how was it different and, and where did you maybe make some improvement? Uh, I think uh, the atmosphere in the weight room was different. Uh, it made everyone more excited to show up, uh, made everyone excited to train and get better. Um, we did some more speed training, just different. Uh, it was different. It was more specific to the needs of the guys. Um, I think he did a great job just, again, preparing us to accomplish what we fell short of last year. Did you make any gains yourself that you were proud of? Uh, I, I mean, I feel like I improved all around. Uh, that's one of the biggest portions of the offseason is just trying to become the best you could be uh, before we start the next season. So I feel like I've uh, made some leaps and bounds in uh, what I'm trying to do uh, just to prepare for camp in this season coming up. Marcellus, uh, Coach Hand has talked about the family atmosphere you guys have in your, your group, your unit. Well, how has that helped you guys? I mean, when bringing in new faces and also having guys who have been back, how does it help that being kind of that brotherhood you guys have been to build up in that group? Uh, I think it, it makes it easy when we talk about the cohesiveness and stuff like that. Um, it's, again, like you said, it's that brotherhood. Um, we're bringing in guys who come from great programs, have played a lot of reps, understand a lot about football um, and just to be able to throw your arm around them and like, let's do it together. Uh, it, and it's also, it helps me out because I was one of the guys who came in last year. So I've experienced it from the outside. Uh, they welcomed me with open arms and gave me the opportunity to succeed. And uh, it's just our job to keep doing that with other people who get the opportunity to come play with us. All right, thanks, Marcel. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks,